With the city of Edmonton, we are uh, very interested in new technologies and always uh, improving the way we do uh, work and also uh, be conscious about uh, our uh, environmental footprint. And the city of Edmonton does have some environmental goals that are very important. Of course, like I mentioned, it's going to be less uh, emissions and it's going to be also less compaction compared to bigger mowers and uh, also low noise activities. And the other thing is very important is that uh, this uh, uh, mower is not here to uh, replace any employment or employees. It's actually uh, during that test here we're going to see in uh, real time um, how he act with the environment, with people and with wildlife. And to be able to have those mower probably working on more tight area where it's difficult for our uh, fleet to access, such as some slope uh, along like some pond area or tight area that we have to maintain with the city. Initially, it takes about 14 days for the mowers to understand this uh, environment and uh, uh, where it is located with obstacles and other uh, uh, concerns with the machine. He runs with GPS and after 14 days, he can optimize uh, these routes and it takes about uh, Initially, it takes four days to cut uh, 5,000 square meters. This is the area that the mower is working currently. And when it's optimized, it takes about a day and a half to cut the whole grass. It runs about four hours per charge, and it takes about an hour to charge. Uh, there is tiny, tiny exacto knife underneath. There is three on, underneath. And uh, the autonomy is about, uh, for grass of this nature, it takes about a month to two months to before replacement of the blade. It will be in addition to uh, current fleet and also knowing that the city is growing, it, it will allow us to uh, respond to some of the demand.